ओके ना सो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैंडल मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन एंटोमोलॉजी सो द इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी एंड इंटीग्रेटेड पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सो यू नीड टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल केप्ट इन माइंड दैट देर आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी एंड आई सो इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी इट इज टोटल सेपरेट टर्म रिगार्डिंग दी एंटोमोलॉजी एंड आई पी एम इंटीग्रेटेड पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इज अन अदर सेपरेट टॉपिक्स ऑफ आई पी एम सो इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी इन दैट टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू हाईलाइट मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट सब टॉपिक्स दीज आर इंक्लूडिंग देयर इंट्रोडक्शंस इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी देयर कंपोनेंट एंड द इको सिस्टम सो हाउ एक्चुअली इको सिस्टम इनहेबिटिंग द प्रॉपर वे और प्रॉपर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द on the insect their population dynamics and all the related things uh, related to insects so let's start with the general introduction with the insect ecology so first of all you need you need to keep in my mind one thing ecology is a total broad term so it derived derived from the greek term oikos oikos meaning house and the laws itself it mean the study so study of house study of habitat related to habitats mean in the sense so this is actually the term uh, generally asking in the question in the various examination so logy and oikos you need to confirm you need to confirm you need you need how to keep in mind permanently in the so the term is come from the greek word oikos meaning the house and combine with the logy the study means the study so the term is uh, majorly coined by the german biologist ernest haeckel so this this is the scientist who was coined the term the uh, in in 1869 ecology okay then uh, next uh, next to that definition of ecology so the science of plant and animal the science of plants and animals in relation to their environment so this is the major important things we are going to highlight today ecology itself it is totally or directly or proportionally related to the environment so what are the there are lot of things including in the environment which directly affect the various factors including various factors in the environment so that can directly affect on the insect growth population dynamics and all their related things so you need have have to uh, properly observe that things rightly okay so it is totally related to environment first of all then we have said there are uh, many scientists who uh, actually define the uh, ecology but these are the main scientist who defined broadly or generally uh, in the uh, in the various way they are using or in the in various examination they are mostly asking that question so webster coined the tot totality of the pattern of the relations between organism and their environment so whatever many scientists are saying the relation between the environment and that particular organism okay so uh again odom the study of organism at home at home so oikos like that so the study of organism at home okay so you need have to confirm uh, like that huh? insect ecology the understanding of physiology and behavior of the insect as uh, affected by their environment and what are the there are a lot of factors including the environment actually it affecting the uh, various uh, uh, ways on the insect or that particular in the organism so this overall study means the ecology then next ecological related terminologies you need uh, while we are going to handle the next topic sub topics you need have to confirm uh, that habitat uh, that uh, um, small of the ecological related terms just like the habitat then population uh, then insect populations then community and ecosystem so habitat is the place where actually organism live so say suppose for example this point is an organism 
and this point where actually the organism lives so for terminological basis need to confirm need to place in your proper uh, proper in your mind so so directly the habitat is the place where the organism live okay habitat and organism so the next one the population population is one of the broad things because these all the uh, related terms na ecological related related term uh, while their definitions to so these are the importance to uh, know upcoming sub topics to that's why i'm going to uh, properly uh, highlighting that term okay habitat you got it the habitat and then population denotes the group of individuals of any kind of organisms okay it only the group of individuals individuals including a single insect for example single insect or a, a single species or a sing, single any organism it's only related to it means the population actually it contain in the population okay so the next one the insect populations because we are going to handle related to the entomology entomology so insect population is the major things population including various organism but the insect population including only the insects the individuals set in a frame that is limited to time and space okay limited to time and space only the next one the community in the ecological sense include all the population of the given area all the population of the given area just just like a community of peoples okay so this is the uh, way to understand the terminology so ecosystem ecosystem as we said in previous slides too ecosystem is one of the fact one of the related uh, terminology to the ecology having major uh, having major role in insect ecology too that's why i'm going to highlight again that term ecology means the functioning together of the community and the non living environment where continuous e exchange of matter energy takes place continuous exchange means matter whatever the matter including the food and in anything too okay the energy that takes place okay matter and energy so ecosystem the functioning together of the community as said community okay and the uh, non living environment non living so say suppose for example while uh, uh, highlighting this non living environment means where the actually these are the factors abiotic and abiotic factors actually these factor can affecting or or the having together community means having together exchange of the matter and energy takes place in in what in what tools uh, uh, majorly um, terminologies the community and the non living environment so it is called as ecosystem simply so say for example as we highlighted the major uh, uh, topics the biotic means the living factor that influence and then ecosystem means what are the there are a lot of organism or a lot of uh, living things that can uh, habitating in a single place or in a single uh, way of matter on a biosphere actually that can influence the ecosystem it's only the biotic factor and other uh, biotic factor as those are non living as we said so it include the sun temperature humidity rainfall water example these are the uh, abiotic factors so that can affect directly on the insect population so it is it contain in the non living factors and uh, the biotic factors including the grasslands of ecosystem the living organism so these are the biotic factors means th those are live and those are uh non live so they can affect directly to the uh, ecosystem 
नेक्स्ट वन सो इन डिटेल्स वाइल वी आर स्टडिंग इन द डिटेल्स सनलाइट इज द मेन एनर्जी सोर्स ऑफ लाइफ एज वी नो ऑल ऑफ यू प्रॉपरली सनलाइट इन ह्यूमन टू इन ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम प्रेजेंट ऑन द प्लैनेट अर्थ सनलाइट इज द एनर्जी सोर्स ऑफ लाइफ ऑन अर्थ ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऑटोट्रॉप्स मीन्स ऑटो ऑटोट्रॉप्स ओके ऑटो मीन्स लाइट्स एंड ट्रॉप्स मीन्स दे डिपेंड ऑन दैट ऑटोट्रॉप्स सो यूज लाइट और केमिकल एनर्जी टू मेक फूड सो दे जनरली यूजिंग अ लाइट अ फोटो फोटॉन्स जनरली रेफर एज अ फोटॉन्स और ऑटो सो दिस इंक्लूडिंग ग्रासेस और वेजिटेबल्स और और प्लांट्स सो दे कैन डायरेक्टली यूज अ लाइट और केमिकल एनर्जी टू मेक देयर फूड फोटोसिंथेसिस फोटोसिंथेसिस इज द मेजर टर्म इन द प्लांट सिस्टम इन द फाइटो प्लैंक्टम्स ओके सो एक्चुअली दे यूजिंग देयर लाइट एनर्जी टू कन्वर्ट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वॉटर इन टू ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट सो ऑल दी प्लांट दे कैन यूज डायरेक्टली लाइट टू कन्वर्ट देयर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड and water into oxygen and carbohydrates so called carbohydrates are the major source of energy actually they converting into uh, their energy with the help of water and oxygen so remember this uh, equation of photosynthesis reaction of photosynthesis in most of the examination point of view uh, it will ask so this is very very important you have to keep in mind permanently then next one is the chemosynthesis perform by bacteria use chemical energy to produce carbohydrates so it is totally different to the photosynthesis photo in photo a source of light can use but in case of the bacteria the chemical are used to produce carbohydrates because this is the important source of energy then consumers okay the organism that rely on other organism for their energy food and supply so these are the consumers also called as the heterotrophs means actually they are dependent on to gain their energy or gain their food so they directly depend on the other organisms they not need chemicals and they not need the uh, light energy so actually they need other organism means another organism to produce their food or their carbohydrates and any uh, more things that can used to handle their body functions properly also called heterotrophs so these are the terms majorly used majorly used in the examinations because what are heterotrophs then uh, what is uh, 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 autotrophs okay autotrophs and heterotrophs you have to place that word permanently in your mind uh, like that so sometimes they ask with the, their definition or sometimes only they ask with their uh, names regarding the names like that uh, phototrophs autotrophs okay herbivores all of you know herbivores herb 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 means weed herb means weed or plant plant that can or that weed or that plant actually using the photo energy photo energy to produce their own foods so the herbivores are actually dependent on that plants or that uh, herbs to produce their energy so these are only dependent on the plants like like the insects actually while feeding 
the uh, so this is the picture on uh, representing uh, the example of the herbivores okay so actually it can uh, using uh, their mouth part to feed on the part of the plant it may be flower it may be uh, petals leaves stems anything okay so actually they are using or the consuming on the plants and do their uh, life cycle properly then next one is the carnivores eat only animals including all the animals of a higher category so so these are the animals actually they need uh, to feed on other animals to to perform their body function or to gain their energy likewise next one is the omnivores it both plants and animal they can use plants plus or or animals these are the omnivores so you need to i say repeating repeat again and again to all the students you need you need to confirm you need, you need to uh, do their uh, definitions properly so they required both plant and animal to perform their body functions properly or uh, their uh, livelihood then next one the decomposers decomposer actually they break down dead organic matter actually they are they are presenting majorly in soil why soil because the a lot of organic matter contained in the soil what are the plant remains of the plants remains uh, of the body of the organism living organism too they are actually buried in the soil and that organism need to decompose all the matters and produce a decomposed matter in the soil so that's why they called as a decomposers they are using <coughs> bacteria for example you can see the phosphorus solubilizing bacteria so these are the example we will study uh, for a few sides next to that so these are the decomposers then feeding interactions this is the major term related to the ecosystems to feeding interaction energy flow through an ecosystem in one direction from the sun or organism compounds to autotrophs producers and then to the heterotrophs consumers so this is the uh, feeding interaction actually they are having a permanent interaction into uh, into various organism like that so they uh, uh, gain their energy related to it so energy flow through the ecosystem is one one direction always is for one direction as like from sun the from from the sun or in our inorganic compounds okay to autotrophs means the producer actually they are producing their own foods then to the heterotrophs mean those who are a consumer consumer of that uh, plants so uh you have to okay so this is the one direction always as we, always it can transferring or performing in a one directions that feeding interaction from the suns means from the what are the uh, lights are coming from the suns actually they are using organisms or uh, inorganic compounds okay inorganic compounds the energy absorb absorbing by the plants so autotrophs means plant okay these are the producer these are the dependent on photons this is a broad term means in exact light and then next one heterotrophs so while seeing that diagram i mean to explain 
this is the one direction flow of one direction ecosystem always now you are uh, having sure on that so actually the feeding interactions or energy flow is totally based on or is it totally or always through the one direction means the this is the best example of that feeding interaction then food chain food chain food wave these are the also important uh, terms related to the ecosystem because in a food chain a series of steps in which organisms transfer energy by eating and by eating and being eaten by eating and by uh, being eaten so food actually food food chain is the major major thing uh, every day is uh, happening in on our planet so food chain including say for example grass these are the autotrophs eaten by the cricket okay and the cricket eaten by the frog okay and the frog eaten by the raccoon means 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 the food chain in which the organism transfer energy actually these are transferring the energy okay these are transferring the energy from this to this from this to this so the steps in which organism transfer energy by eating and by eating so this is the cricket or grasshopper eating that plant means by eating okay and that grass transferring energy to that grasshopper or cricket being eaten now you will be damn sure on that okay so as said direction of the flow energy is transferred arrows uh, start with the produce, producer and end with the consumers or carnivores so this is the best example of the ecosystem to transfer energy by eating and being eaten so while remembering remembering this uh, broad term na food chain you have to highlight that for uh, photos too so it will kept in your mind permanently the next one food web a network of food chain within an ecosystem means on the habitat so say for example mice eaten by the weasels mice is also eaten by the raccoons grass grass is eaten uh, eaten by the mice and grass is also eaten by the raccoon so and these two weasels and raccoons also eaten by the how how means this including so this is totally or uh, indirectly opposite to the food web okay food web food web a uh, sorry food chain including a series of chain but the food web including the various factors or various organism eaten by or they are dependent on other to eat okay so which of the organi uh, the producer uh, grass and which of the organism above is the top consumer okay so these are the uh, more important two uh, terms uh, in the point of view of just a question and answer so which one is the organism above is the producer producer means a grass who is actually a primary producer or primary producer then which of the organism above is the top consumer means grass actually the hevel how is eaten by the grass but with the help of raccoon with the help of mice or with the help of weasels so this is a interrelated term tropics levels each steps in a food chain or food web level 1 producer as we as we had highlighted that autotrophs then 
primary consumer herbivores then secondary consumer carnivores or omnivores then next levels are the tertiary or the consumers so while remembering these things now you need to highlight that producer means in that category of the producer or level of the producer including autotrophs so likewise from first to four you need to have that uh, terms food wave this is another example of the food wave as we seen ecological pyramids uh ecological pyramid is also important things so diagram that shows the relative amount of energy or organism contain within each tropic levels of the food so there are various level tropic levels including in the ecological pyramid okay actually and it is said or it is labeled or it is mentioned in the in a a triangle like form so it is called as a ecological pyramid so first of all producers then next one herbivore then primary carnivores uh, then secondary carnivores so just like the example of uh, food chain and food web you have to keep in mind likewise that a uh, pyramid of ecology ecology or ecological pyramid uh okay then energy the relative amount of energy available to each in tropics levels so this also important thing uh, important terms related to organism in tropics level is the available energy of the food process such as growth so all of you know uh, perfectly like that the energy is um, using uh, all the organism to produce um, uh, to related to their growth photosynthesis in plants cellular respiration metabolism and uh, release of some energy as a heat uh, every chemical process that happen in your body uh, release heat as a product example burning house these are the only uh, um, related term uh, you have to uh, see properly then uh, energy and biomass pyramid together represent amount of energy available at each levels as well as amount of living tissue both degrees with each increase at tropics levels so it related to the tropics levels too so it's not a major um, ecological interaction between organism competitions okay this is one also important a uh, term competition my why actually they are competing in each uh, in their community or the community in a particular habitat for their food water shelter so this is the exam best example of the competitions okay then niche niche means the ecological uh, involve the place where an organism live and the roles that an organism has in in its habitat so actually habitats means where it live and the role that an organism has its uh, habitat okay where it lives and the place means the niche means the organism actually where it surviving okay where is it surviving this is the niche means the place where actually the organism survive just like a sunflower grow in the uh, backyard then uh, includes absorbing light water and nutrients for photosynthesis providing shelter and food for the organism example b and ctc so this is the examples of related terms then predator predations uh in entomological section prede predations or predator prey these are also uh, broadly terms including in the biological pest management actually the predator one that does can killing the other organism okay and the prey on that is actually the predator is 
लिविंग और डूइंग और कंज्यूमिंग एनर्जी फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल्स सिम्बोसिस इन ए रिलेशनशिप इन इन विच टू स्पेसिज लाइव क्लोजली टुगेदर सो एक्चुअली दोज आर सबसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर टू स्पेसिज ओके एंड दे आर लिविंग क्लोजली टुगेदर बट दे आर नॉट हार्मिंग इच ऑदर इफ दे आर हार्मिंग और इफ दे आर कंज्यूमिंग इच ऑदर सो इट इज नॉट अ सिम्बॉसिस सिम्बॉसिस सिंपली any relations in which two species live closely together mutualism both species benefit example insect and flower for example bee bee is surviving on the flower to gain the nectars okay from the flower but not harming to each other the flower is not harmed by the bee and bee is also not harmed by the flower so this is a mutualism commensalism one member of the association benefits and the other is neither help nor harm okay this one is the important terms too as we seen in the symbiosis both species benefits okay but they are not harming in here too there are association between uh, benef uh, benefits in the other species related to they are actually not harming to each other or not help help to means the nest of the uh, bird on a plant parasitism one organism live on other or inside or outside another organism host and harm it the parasite obtain all or parts of its nutritional needs from the host parasitization say for example the fleas of a dog actually the fleas feeding on the blood of the dog okay and time to time or with the chronological uh, point of view it harm the dog but so it is a parasitism means it actually required a particular host to survive it okay to survive that fleas so it is a parasitism parasitism okay this is second example mosquito biting on a human okay because for the laying of egg of a female mosquito they required a blood of blood to lay their egg by the female uh, mosquito so it is a perfect example of the parasitism ecology so now we are reaching the main topic the ecology as we said so it is uh, broadly divided into two uh, a different term so the auto ecology and sine ecology so in the auto ecology the individual organism or an individual species in, in relation to the environment particularly so it totally depend on the environment next one the sine ecology is the study of the organism or group of the organism associated with the community of the same in the same environment means individual organism or organism uh, species related to the environment means in case of the auto ecology the organism is directly related to or depending on the environment only but the sine ecology the community in which where the uh, sorry the association in a uh, in a community in the same environment only so the major difference is for the environment so these are competing with the same environment and in case of auto ecology it competing with the related to the environment means overall overall environment too then the uh, importance of the uh, ecology in ipm while going to study that topic 
what are the major importance of that of the ecological or ecological best parameters in the pest management because it is totally correlated with the uh, environment so ecological studies assess the pest uh, uh, assess the pest control program by explaining pest problems and suggesting alternate ways to combating insect so ecological studies assess the pest control program so if you know the ecology properly we can say or we can say the control uh, pest control program uh, by the explaining pest problems and suggesting alternative ways to combating insect for example we we are knowing the habitat of the particular insect actually it can uh, start feeding on the plant so before going to feeding uh, that insect by the uh, to, uh, to on that plant we know if we know the on which temperature level or on a particular environmental factor it can uh, kill that insect too, huh? so we can managing directly that uh, losses or losses occurred by the pest to the plant so outbreak of the pest can also be predicted outbreaks means sudden increase in the population of a particular species or a particular uh, insect so we can also predict if you know the ecology ecology or ecological factors properly in related to the insect the ecological studies investigate the cause of the changes in the population number and the mechanism of the natural control okay the ecological study it also investigate the changes in the population number means say for example in a minimum temperature level what uh, what amount of white fly is increasing or uh, what amount of white fly decreasing if you know that ecological parameter as a temperature we can say perfectly the increasing or decreasing population of the white fly so this is the best example for that in uh, ecological studies or uh, while knowing the importance of the ecology mechanism of natural controls too so natural control means in the environment there are a lot of uh, natural enemies including parasitide parasite predator organism bacteria fungus actually they are inhibiting they are naturally controlling the pest those who are surviving on the plant so if you know the ecological factors we can say that the mechanism of the uh, natural control we can have a, uh, we can have a perfectly known with related to the ecology then pest surveillance surveillance means the uh, constant watch or uh, knowing the uh, predictions regarding the uh, regarding the uh, uh, infestation of the particular species of the insect on a plant so it just uh, we can survey uh, related to it if we know the ecology then forecasting of the possible attack of the different species can be done and accordingly the control measures can be initiated so if we know uh, perfectly the uh, different species then we can say so these are the particular uh, control measures on it to uh, inhibit their uh, incident occurrence or the incidence of the uh, particular organism if you know the uh, ecology okay then suitable chemi chemical can be selected depending on the presence or absence of the natural enemies so actually natural enemies working naturally with the environment to manage a particular pest okay so if you know the ecological based para parameters or uh, uh, the factors then we can say a kind of chemical we need to uh, regulate their use or reducing their use to uh, uh, to uh, means uh, protect the natural enemies say for exam example while going to study uh, while going to spraying on the crops in our ecosystem including cotton soybean and other uh, pests uh, crops too we need how to check in the onions too we need how to check the occurrence of the uh, honey bee 
if the occurrence of the honeybee is most, uh, majorly uh, majorly on that crop so we can change the way of way of uh, um, mode of or way of dose of the particular insecticide to reduce down or to increase down to protect the natural enemy means our bee natural enemy those are working in the naturally itself too so as like the important there are some scopes of the uh, insect ecology including necessarily multidisciplinary and in integrative field of the study uh, re uh, requiring the contribution of a bio biologist then used in chemist geologist climatologist hydrologist soil scientist so while studying you go through properly with the uh, scopes because it may be asked in the future examinations too next okay these are the recent advances in means uh, in insect ecology where actually it can uh, we are using broadly that concept molecular mechanism that control uh, biochemical interactions among the organism okay basic goal applies goal so including this uh, scopes too you need how to just thoroughly go through it okay this is not uh, majorly important ecological hierarchy these are the levels of the from individual population and group as just like that of food chain and food web too so larger is ecosystem hierarchy okay organism from organism single organism with the population community ecosystem and biosphere okay so friends these are the some questions related to it uh, while going to ecology now we are just uh, totally covered with the ecology ecological parameters include then what are the major related terms because uh, next upcoming topics is totally depend on the terms of the ecological based um, uh, syllabus so you primarily have to uh, go through that terms and uh, properly you have to remember the remember these terms properly then uh, we will uh, in upcoming day handle the major important topics as like the biotic and abiotic factor because these are the uh, two factors or related uh, subtopics in ecology are the major importance topics where actually the ecology is best so thank you